Bonjour YouTube! Today's installment of 31 Days of Halloween is this torn glam face mask inspired by beautiful vanity on Instagram. I wanted to do something similar to what she did, but I've done like a lot of half and half makeup looks, so I thought I'd do the mask technique all over my face. I mean, we all know that I'm kind of a fake bitch, and this way we can just showcase it to the whole world. So here's the basic SFX products you'll want to have for this look. Um, the beauty makeup is optional, you can just do whatever you want on your face, but of course I'm going to kick on the drag makeup. I'm going to start by gluing down my brows today using Prozade. It's a special effects skin adhesive like spirit gum. Um, glue stick also works for this step as you've probably seen in my videos. But I wanted to try something new so I picked up this product and I'm finding it works really well. Um, I just brush the brows flat when it's on. It just takes a long time to dry. I think I ate like some sushi while waiting even though I blow dried it. And then you're going to powder it dry and then clog all of your pores with some full coverage foundation. Maybe it's cake skin. I highlighted my face with white cream, which may have been a little much, <laughs> so I balanced it out by using a dark brown all along the perimeter, and then I blended it all together with this gross sponge I've had for like a year. Um, this way the face just has more dimension and highlights and shadows, and you don't look like one flat color. And then I started highlighting my brow bone with white, making that sharp line at the top, and then blending the bottom edge down into the eye. And then since we're done with all the creams and liquids, we're going to set our entire face with some powder. I then go in with a brown face powder. This is the NYX Matte Bronzer, um, but some people just use like a dark foundation powder. And I darkened the edges of my face in the same areas that I put that brown foundation color. Again, the idea is that we want to deepen the shadows and raise the highlights. So we set with coordinating colors of powders to emphasize the effect. Um, and then I contour my nose. And again, I use matte bronzer on the edge of a flat eyeshadow brush. I try to have my nose contour start near where like the eye socket is. I just think that's like the natural flow of the face shape. And at the nose tip, I bring the two dark lines together. And then to finish the nose contour, I go in with a little bit of highlight color. I'm using white and just place a thin stripe on the bridge of the nose. And maybe a little extra dot on the tip of that really skinny, cunty nose. So let's do the eyes. I'm starting by using the same white powder and I'm setting my brow highlight so that it stays bright and white. And then I take a warm P2 brown. This is Makeup Geek's Chickadee eyeshadow. And this is going to be like my blending color. So I smoke it all around the entire eye socket, the upper and lower. And you can see I did the other eye and put in contacts off camera. But we're just going to go for a brown smoky eye, which just means brown all over the lid. Um, lots of people think smoky eye is just black, but it can be with any color blue, brown, red, green, purple. Smoky just means it's a dark base on the lid and it, it diffuses outwards like smoke, hence the name. So I like to do my smoky eyes by starting in the crease with the light blending colors. Um, like I put the brown there and then the darker brown. And as the crease gets darker, I move the darkness onto the lid. So I laid that brown and black onto the lid and blended it into the crease that we defined previously. And I apply the black with a fluffier brush since I don't want it to be that pigmented and dark. The black is really just to darken it, while the real color we want to accentuate is this warm, earthy brown, which we're going to place all over the lid as well as the lower lash line. And then I'm going to do a simple winged liner. Well, okay. I, I guess my simple might be like a little bit much for you. Um, I like to do winged liner with pretty much every look. I'm just that bitch, you know? And when you do it a lot, you get pretty good at it. Um, and then I'm placing some white on the lower waterline. The winged liner and the white eyeliner are not really components of a traditional smoky eye, but I think they add some extra drama and open up the eyes and kind of lift the face up and out rather than just adding darkness and definition. And then I just apply my mascara like a real life woman. Here I'm doing the brows and I really like the way I did them today. Um, I kind of started with the bottom edge and flicked the brush upwards on its side. That way the top edge wouldn't be like super sharp. It would be kind of softened, which I think makes it look a bit more natural. And I also like to make the arch a little more straight and point out to my temple instead of taking it back down like a triangle. And that's pretty much how I do my brows. And that's pretty much it for the eye makeup except for lashes. For blush, I'm using this NYX blush. Um, it's called Amber. I think, and I'm using this because I wanted to go for like an earthy pink color to match the warm earthy toned eyes. And on the lips, I'm kind of following that color scheme, doing a gradient between two NYX liquid suede's 
um, and Club Hopper and Sandstorm, placing that burgundy brown on the perimeter and then that light nude in the center. If your goal is to just look like, I don't know, a 90s mom, you can stop here, but now I'm gonna start doing the special effects makeup. So we wanna make it look like our face is like this mask that's kind of partially ripped off. So I'm taking liquid latex and cotton, and the latex bonds and allows the cotton to be molded and shaped, while the cotton is there to add structure. So we're gonna create walls and edges all around the face, and as it's drying, we kind of wanna pick up and lift up the outer edges so that it's like greedy. But don't lift it up too much, or you'll end up lifting up everything. Give that some time to dry and then paint it your foundation color so that it matches with the skin. If you feel like you need to, you can add powders and blush, whatever you think it takes. Um, if you're not wearing makeup and you just want to use your natural face as the mask, I still highly recommend getting a skin tone color so that the latex buildup matches your skin. But now for the bloody body, I'm going to take some more cotton and latex and I'm putting this kind of sporadically all over the place as ripped up cotton gives the illusion of this textured ripped up flesh. I, I don't know, there's probably a better way to do this, but on this channel we're gonna learn the cheap way to do things. You should know that by now. So this step is optional if you don't want to get latex everywhere, but I do think later you'll see that it looks kind of cool. So you're gonna let all of that dry and then paint over it with red face paint to give the color of flesh and blood. And I also mixed in some black to darken it and give some more contrast. If you have really dark skin, you might want to consider making your um, flesh and blood maybe look more pink, kind of like the color of muscles, in order to contrast against that dark face. The idea is just that we want the beauty makeup that's on the face to really stand out and appear so out of place. Um, and then I'm going to go in with some fake blood. This is just red food coloring and water and corn syrup. Um, a full recipe will be in the description. And I'm going over top of the red to give it a glossy, shiny finish like wet blood. It's not pigmented enough to paint yourself red by itself, so you're gonna need red face paint for that, but this is just kind of like the glossy top coat. Lip gloss might also work, I guess, um, but obviously you won't be able to get it everywhere without wasting all of your product. So if you're gonna use that route, I would recommend maybe just keeping it on the key areas like the collarbone and the forehead where the reflecting light will be the most apparent. And that's the finished look. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Again, shout out to beautiful Vanity on Instagram for the inspiration. And I will see you again tomorrow. Oh, okay. I don't know. Hopefully I'll see you again. We're nearing the end of the month and I'm like working my ass off to keep pumping out these looks. And my only reward is getting a new pimple every other day. So I think I'm gonna go cry now and wonder why I didn't get a real job. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!